breaking news, Nigerians, it don't happen. DSS, Grills, Kaduna Bay's Islamic cleric, Fulham Blasting, Tinibu, Buhari, calling them Pharaoh and Heyman. Guys, hey, hey, not even we'll go see for Nigeria. Guys, this is really interesting. I mean, the Department of the State Service, DSS, recently grilled a popular Islamic cleric, Sheikh Sharif, based in Zaria. Kaduna State over his recent summon where he criticized the President Bolad Metinibu's government. Now, Sheikh Sharif is a renowned uh, critic of the Nigerian government. And in one of his recent summons during the Jumat prayer, he faulted Tinibu's failed economic reforms and also talked about the sufferings and the inflation Nigerians are presently facing because of these Tinibu's reforms that have failed the country, the people, and the citizens. So he tagged President Bola Admir Tinibu as Pharaoh, calling a, uh, Buhari Heman. Guys, this is, this is really, really absurd. Now, in one of the videos of his sermon, Sharif had liking the power tr uh, transition between the former President Mohamed Buhari and uh, Bola Admir Tinibu to that of Pharaoh and Heman. He also berated the President for the hasty decision to remove the four subsidy, where he said Buhari, um, Tinibu and Buhari are like Pharaoh and Heman. There is no difference between them. If not for Tinibu's lack of respect and dignity for Nigerians, how can the president announce the removal of war subsidy on his first day as the president during his inauguration? And after removing the war subsidy, the petrol price jumped from 200 to 600 even before the president left the venue. And so many people wondered what kind of administration they just entered. Now, Tinibu has really caused more harm than good. He ought to have consulted his economic team before he would have made such hasty decisions. Even the military, which rules by decree, do not make this kind of pronouncement. So, a close ally of the cleric told um, the Nigerian daily that this uh, Islamic cleric w was squeezed for some hours before he was asked to go home last Friday by the DSS operatives in Kaduna. So, my country people, make on a conchoke mat for this matter. The DSS grilled him over his statement against the president and the former president, Mohamed uh, Buhari. It was said that the secret police showed concerns. In fact, they had security concerns about his sermon and the level of participation from people of all faiths. And that was how they brought him in for questioning. They, gri they grilled him. It was more like an arrest. So, my country people, there is trouble in the land. Though. It seems that people no longer have um, freedom of speech anymore in this current administration the fact that an islamic uh, uh, cleric you know uh, made some f funny and nasty statements about the president and the vice president does and the former president i beg your pardon doesn't warrant you know this arrest from the dss and i must say that there are so many people you know who ought to have been arrested but i wonder how a harmless talk would warrant arrest, you know, from this um, Islamic uh, uh, cleric. So, my country people, this is really serious. The current Nigeria leadership is is the worst ever in the history of Nigeria. The previous administration was tagged so far the worst, and I can say this current administration is tagged as the worst. So. We all know that freedom of speech is guaranteed in a democratic elected government where we practice democracy. People have freedom of speech, freedom of movement whatsoever. So I wonder how his speech now is being perceived as a national threat or as a security threat to the DSS.
So, I know that most of these Islamic clerics are not afraid to speak what's on their mind, especially as it relates to the, the affairs of this nation. So, my country people, this is really, really interesting. I can see a storm gathering because people are airing their voice, people are airing their thoughts and their concerns on what they are observing in this current administration. Now, this Islamic cleric tagged it as Pharaoh and Haman, the relationship and the transaction of power between Muhammad Buhari and President Bola Ahmed Tinibu. So, my country people, Nigerians have reacted. So, calling them names have now become a threat to national security or what? Harmless people are the ones always being quizzed. But how many bandits and kidnappers have been quizzed? This is a poor display of power show. This cleric is a million thousand correct. I really hope that this man can be saluted for saying the truth. Thanks for using your position to speak against evil. While we have some prominent bishop and pastors who cannot even speak out of this uh, of this hardship we are facing, this country will suffer where we're under this administration. Just wait and see. Nigeria is generally turning into a concentration camp where there is no freedom of expression. Please, can you beat a child and forbid him to cry? Nigeria has entered a one way and it will be hard before we come out of this. Certainly, my country people, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, a lot of people have reacted to the fact that the DSS, you know, went ahead to grill this Islamic cleric for making statements about um, the president and also the former president of this country. They grilled him, you know, uh, for criticizing Tinibu's leadership, which has led to hardship, which has led to sufferings. I must say that this man made this statement amid the intense hardship we are facing in this country. Had it been all was well with Nigerians, I, we would never had see, have seen this kind of statement. But the people are angry and they are lashing out their anger at the administration of President Bola Admet Tinibu. People are also going back, pointing fingers at the former president, Mohamed Buhari, you know, because it's, it's obvious that he started this suffering and Tinibu continued from where he stopped. That's why this um, Islamic cleric in his sermon mentioned the power transition between Buhari and Tinibu as that of Pharaoh and Haman. So it is more like a frying pan uh, to fire situation. I guess that was how he, you know, I guess that's how he, he, he tried describing this situation that Nigeria is in. It is more like a frying pan to fire, you know, situation. Guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.